Today is the release day of a new CPU cooler. I'll be taking a look at the brand new Be Quiet Pure Rock 3. It features beautiful sleek aesthetics, is super easy to install because it's much more compact than many high-end bricks. It's also fairly quiet and above all very affordable at a price of around 35 US dollars. This raises the question for me as to whether such a $35 air cooler is actually good enough for some CPUs or whether it will cause a meltdown with my Intel Core i9-13900K. Regardless, it'll be exciting since the Pure Rock 3 ended up performing better than I initially expected it to. As for what comes included, there's the heatsink, a single fan, all the mounting hardware and paper documentation as well as the user guide. First of all, I'd like to praise the outstanding build quality and aesthetics within this price range. The heatsink even comes with a top cover, covering up the heat pipe ends or tips some people find unappealing. Furthermore, black coating is used here. Be quite state that the Pure Rock 3 should be capable of handling a TDP of 190 watts. What I have planned with this cooler today therefore might be a bit out of line. The fan supplied here is their in-house Pure Wings 3 120mm, the PWM version of it. I'm already acquainted with that fan and really like it. It is of high quality, sports a rifle bearing and offers a max fan speed of 2000 RPM. My only gripe here is that Be Quiet appear to have been a bit cheap and decided to include only one pair of fan clips for attaching just that one included fan. Maybe that was their very intention if you're into wearing tinfoil hats. Either way, we could have gotten a little more out of the cooler if we were given the option to attach a second fan. There's no lighting on here. If you want that, you should go for the LX version of the Pure Rock 3 featuring an ARGB fan. The heatsink is equipped with a total of four heat pipes, each with a diameter of six millimeters. The surface is copper, although not nickel plated, something you can't really see right now because thermal paste comes already pre-applied out of the box for our first installation. Our usual relevant CPU sockets are being supported such as AM5, AM4, as well as LJ1851 and 1700, and otherwise the specs seem quite promising. The actual installation onto my test systems, both AMD and Intel, went very well. The mounting systems are not only of high quality, metal, but also designed well. For AMD platforms, the CPU cooler can optionally even be mounted with an offset. With such dimensions of an air cooler, it is not surprising that the RAM is not obstructed in any way. That's one of the huge advantages of such more compact air coolers. So I guess it's about time to begin with the testing. As always, I'll kick things off with the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X and then switch to the fairly toasty Intel Core i9-13900K set to run at the 253 watt power limit for more precise results. The tests are carried out with the systems displayed right now. Noise levels. With a measured 46 decibels at max fan speed, the Pure Rock 3 is one of the quietest cooling solutions in my charts, which does make sense when considering that there's only one fan attached to the heatsink. Temperatures at max fan speed with the AMD 3800X. I admit that I'm now rather reluctant to carry out tests with the 3800X because more often than not, those results no longer show any meaningful results. But today is different as the Pure Rock 3 does relatively well here when compared to even more powerful coolers. This is probably mainly due to the fact that a 3800X doesn't come with a particularly high TDP, thus doesn't output a ton of heat by today's standards. So a cheap air cooler like this makes sense here. Things get more complicated in the following test though. Temperatures at max fan speed with the Intel 13900K. Starting with Prime95 load, we almost immediately hit the CPU's temperature limit. The Pure Rock 3 is the smallest CPU cooler in this chart, however, so it's perfectly normal for it to land in last place. Nonetheless, I was surprised that on average it just about avoids making the CPU thermal throttle at 97 degrees Celsius. But we do reach a maximum of 102 degrees, albeit only briefly. Now, once we repeat the test with Cinebench 2024, the CPU does get a tiny break, so to speak, because the Pure Rock 3 manages to keep the temperature at 95 degrees on average. 
Here too, we avoid thermal throttling, so the CPU still is offering its full performance potential. Temperatures at a fixed 40 decibels. Here, every cooling solution is now normalized to run at exactly 40 decibels. But don't get fooled by the numbers here, because while the Pure Rock 3 does manage a CPU temperature of 98 degrees on average, the CPU is actually already noticeably throttling. Due to the lower fan speed, the cooling performance drops, and thus we are effectively also losing CPU performance. Things don't really look any different in the Cinebench 2024 run. Actually, a very comparable result. The test results may look wild and bad for the Pure Rock 3, but you shouldn't forget about the fact that this cooler is designed for a max TDP of 190 watts, while the CPU in my test is supposed to run at a maximum of 253 watts. Today's cooler, therefore, is bound to lose in this comparison. I find it all the more remarkable, however, that the Pure Rock 3 is actually able to somewhat prevent the CPU from thermal throttling, at least with the fan set to run at max RPM. Still, make no mistake, it's not advisable to run a CPU at such high temperatures like I do. Conclusion At the end of the day, the new Be Quiet Pure Rock 3 was able to surprise me in a good way, performance-wise. I was able to prove that it can even somewhat tame the 13900K if necessary, even if only barely. But of course, no one would pair such a high-end mainstream CPU with such a small compact air cooler. Now, if your system doesn't sport the hottest and power-hungriest CPU, the Pure Rock 3 or something similar is good enough. Unfortunately, I have to admit that I have far too few comparable coolers in my charts. I will change and improve on that in the near future. The cooler tested today scores particularly well in terms of build quality and noise levels. The performance is obviously not to be underestimated either. Some will probably state the price of $35 being a weakness. I believe the price is reasonable, but of course, there are even cheaper air coolers on the market. However, I can't say anything about the performance of those coolers for now. The only thing that bothers me about today's cooler is the, in my opinion, incomplete scope of delivery. They could have easily included a second pair of fan clips so that a second fan could be attached later on without having to order extra stuff. Apart from that, I am quite happy with the Pure Rock 3 and can definitely recommend it to the right target audience. What are your thoughts on the Pure Rock 3? Do you like it or which budget air cooler do you personally like the most? Now, if you enjoyed the video, I'd be very happy if you gave it a like, but feel free to just hit the dislike button instead. With that in mind, thank you all for watching and until the next one.